सदगुरु सरकार की <coughs> प्रथम सदगुरु वंदे <coughs> श्री कृष्ण तदनंतर गुरु पापात्मना श्रीकृष्णस्वमलात्मनाशकनिस्वसित कालमथावलंब्य जीवंती लोम बिलजा जगदंदना था विष्णुर्महांस <coughs> विष्णुर्महांस यला विशेषो गोविंद मारिपुरुषम तम हम भजा नम कमलनाथ नम कमल मालिने नम कमल पाय नमस्ते कमले क्षण यो ब्रह्मानं बिरधाति पूर्वम यो वै वेदाश्च प्रहिनोति तस्म दघ्वंगदेवत्म बुद्धि प्रकाशम मुमुक्षुर वै शरणम प्रपद्ये बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय श्रीमद सतगुरु सरकार की जय प्रिय सज्जनों प्रिय भक्त समुदाय महानुभाव डेर इज डिवोतीज ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड डिवाइन सोल्स फर्स्ट लेट मी से राधे राधे टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड माय प्रणाम माय हार्मलेस प्रोस्ट्रेशंस टू एवरीवन I'm continuing the discourse on this divine kirtan written by Jagat Guru Tam Shri Kripalu Mahaprabhu. We've been listening to explanation. From the verses of this kirtan, why I say divine, as I've explained to you before, God and saint are one. when someone attains god realization all action stop <clears throat> why do we do anything in the world because we want something kuch paana hai
we are continuously performing actions. Nahi kashchit kshanam api jat tishthatya karma krit. Chapter 3, verse 5, Gita. Shri Krishna says, It is impossible for the individual soul to remain inactive even for a moment. We may think I am sleeping, I'm not doing anything. I'm sitting because we look at the sense organs as the perform of our actions. The hand, the feet, mouth, eyes, nose, etc. This is our only house. Someone has beautiful eyes, very beautiful eyes. They can dek nahi paate. They can't see. Very beautiful eyes. They can't hear any sound. They're deaf. It is a house. Within these houses is a very subtle sense organ called Indriya. And even those Indriyas are not perform of the action. They all, all the Indriyas are containing the mind. The Vedas tell us, Mana eva manushyanam karnam bandha moksha yoho Brahma Bindu Upanishad, second mantra. Man ev, the word ev means only. <coughs> Man means mind. The mind alone, manushyanam, of people, we people, human beings, karnam is the cause, bandhan of bondage, Moksh, liberation. The mind alone is the cause of bondage as well as liberation. In other words, it's our mind which is the performer of the action. So we are continuously performing actions. We are thinking every moment. Even while we are sleeping, we are dreaming. Ah, in the state of Sushupti Avastha, Dreamless sleep, deep sleep. We experience nothing. We experience nothing means we experience neither sorrow nor happiness. Sukamahamaswapsam. When we awake from deep sleep, we say, Ah, I slept so peacefully. I experienced nothing. I didn't experience any sorrow or happiness. The mind didn't, was not functioning. But when we awake, We're again caught in the whirlpool of tensions. But we dream. When we lie in the bed, we dream. Some of us remember. Some people don't remember what they dream. They just knew uh, maybe I dreamt. A lot of people say I did not dream. <laughs> because we don't remember our dreams. But everyone dreams. In our dream, we do everything like we do in the material world. We fight, we quarrel, we eat, we drink, we run, everything. At that time, all the sense organs, the hand, the feet, etc., lying unconscious in the bed. 
Who then is performing all these actions of fighting, quarreling, running, eating, drinking? The mind. So the mind alone is a performer of the action. And every action we perform for wanting only. What do we want? It may seem that we want lots of things. A new house, a new car, a big bank balance, to get married to a handsome boy, to get married to a beautiful girl, to have lots of friends, to be able to go to the mall, to go to the cinema. So many desires it would seem that we want so many things. <laughs> All these desires imply though the desire for one thing only. By getting that thing, if I get a big bank balance, a lot of money, I'll be happy. If I get married to a handsome boy, I'll be happy. If I get married to a beautiful girl, I'll be happy. If I get this kind of job, I'll be happy. If I have this kind of children, I'll be happy. If my husband is like this, I'll be happy. My wife is like that, I'll be happy. If I have a brand new house with a nice swimming pool, I'll be happy. If I'm able to wear all these kinds of clothes, I'll be happy. Eventually, <laughs> we all want one thing only. That is happiness, suk, anand. It's our nature to want happiness because we're a fraction of happiness. Mamai Vansho Jeeva Loke Jeeva Bhutaha Sanatanaha. Chapter 15, verse 7, Gita. Sri Krishna says, The Jivatma, the individual soul, who we are, are eternal fractions of path of Him. Unke Ansh, Sanatan Ansh hai. And, ye Sobhavak Niyam hai. कि सब अंश अपने अंशी से स्वाभाविक प्रेम है प्यार है एंड इट इज अ नेचुरल लॉ दैट एवरी पार्ट एवरी फ्रैक्शन हैज अ नेचुरल लव डिजायर टू अटेन इट्स होल नेचुरली लव वांट्स टू बिकम वन विद इट All rivers naturally flow to the ocean, being a part of the ocean. All flames of fire naturally rise upwards, being a fraction of the sun. In the same way, we, the Jivatma individual soul, being eternal fraction, part of Sri Krishna, naturally love and want only Sri Krishna. This is why Valmiki Ji says in the Valmiki Ramayan, Loke nahisa vidyet yo narama manubrataha. It is impossible to find an individual soul that does not truly love and want Sri Krishna. It doesn't sound like it's because we say, oh, there are people who believe in God and people who don't believe in God. They're atheist. <laughs> they will even try to stop others from taking God's name. What do you mean we all want only God? I just said we all want only happiness. And who is Sri Krishna? What is Sri Krishna? Anando Brahmiti Vajanat Ananda Deva Kalvimani Bhutani Janti Anandina Jatani Jeevanti Anandam Prayantya Bhisam Bishanti Taitiri Upanishad. Chapter 3, verse 6. The Vedas say, Shri Krishna is Anand, bliss, happiness. Anando Brahmeti. Rasovai Sahara Sagvam Hevayam Labdhva Nandi Bhavati. Taitiri Upanishad, chapter 2, verse 7. Shri Krishna is Ras, bliss, happiness. So, since we are eternal fractions, parts of Sri Krishna, it means we naturally love and want only Sri Krishna. And because Sri Krishna is happiness, bliss, anand, 
That's why we all want only happiness. Sukhaya karmani karoti loko natai sukham badaru paramamba vindeta bhuyas tata eva dukham yadatta yuktam bhagavan vadena. Everyone, every action we perform is only for suk, sukhaya karmani. Ab dukh nahi chahte. Impossible, we cannot want dukh, pain and suffering. It's not our nature. So, every action we perform is only for happiness. When someone has attained that happiness, when someone attains God realization, he attains a Shri Krishna, everything Shri Krishna has, he gives to that soul. Dadami buddhi yogam tam. Gita. He gives everything. So now you can question the saint. Eh, why are you standing? Okay, I'm sitting. Why are you sitting? Okay, I'm lying down. Why are you lying down? You can question. <laughs> the fact is, from now, saint doesn't do anything anymore. Now, whatever saint is doing, saint means one who has attained Sri Krishna. Keep this in mind. Guru, saint. There are two names for one and the same thing. Same entity. Guru, saint, Mahapurush, God realize. Guru means one who can take away maya. Not destroy maya as I do. No one, not even Bhagawan can destroy maya. One who can take away the effect of maya upon us. The one who can do that has to become free from maya himself. If someone is himself under maya, he is controlled by maya, how can he take away the effect of maya on someone else? So that guru, when someone attains God realization, that saint, everything Sri Krishna has, he gives to him. So he stops doing everything. Sri Maharaji, my Gurudev, gives a nice example. There's something called ghee, clarified butter. Ghee, bahut log khate. A lot of people love, very tasty, ghee. Oh, some people mouth, already water is coming. You hear ghee. How does ghee, first you take the butter, makhan, fresh butter, you put it in a pot and heat it. The more you heat the pot, and that butter starts getting heated, it will start making noise, noise, loud noise. Pot! 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 Loud noise. Pot! 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 Chup! Quiet. The noise it is making is to burn the impurities water, etc., to make the ghee. When it has become pure, clarified butter, ghee, pure. Now, no noise. Ab chup ho gaya. It's become silent. But if you take a raw piece of flour that needed, you have kneaded this flour with water and you're going to make puri. Fried. How do you call it in English? <laughs> Fritter, something like that. So you're going to put this raw piece of flour in that ghee. It starts making noise again. Pot, pot, pot. But it's not making noise for itself now. It is making noise to cook the raw flour and make it a puri. 
when that raw flour becomes a puri, is cooked, again quiet. Again you put another piece of raw flour, again pot, 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 chup. So, yeah, so the saint, he has attained everything. He should not do anything. Number one, he is not doing anything. Jo kare so hari kare. Whatever saint is doing, Shri Krishna is doing. I told you before, that's why we, we worship Ramayan, Gita, Bhagwat. Because we know Tulsidas did not write this Ramayan. Veda Vyas did not write Gita. No man wrote this. This is written by Bhagavan. This is God's words. So that's why we worship. We do Arti, we worship. Puja. Otherwise, it's just a, a novel. So whatever he writes, whatever he eats, whatever he does, Shri Krishna is doing. After God realization, not before. There are people who say, oh, I don't know anything. I remember there's a guy. He had come from India in the West to teach people Gita. He was a Sanskrit scholar. And very few people knew Gita or Sanskrit. So he used to teach, have Gita classes. But people saw he would eat meat and fish and all these things. They say, hey, you are teaching Gita, how can you do all this? They, called, they thought he was a saint. He said, look, I'm not doing anything, it's Krishna. <laughs> I'm not a doer. He said, Krishna is doing. <laughs> so there are people in the world, Pakhand, imposters, who would blame Krishna for Shri Krishna for the performance? Shri Krishna says, No, na datte kashachit papam, na chayva sukitam vibhu. Chapter 5, verse 15, Shri Krishna makes it very clear I am not responsible, not responsible for the virtuous or evil action of those souls under Maya. He's not talking about saint. Those on the Maya. Saint, he's responsible. 100% responsible. Those on the Maya, he says, I'm not responsible. I just sit in their heart, I take note, and I reward or punish them accordingly. You cannot blame Sri Krishna. But after you attain God realization, now Sri Krishna becomes the doer. He has taken over. That saint becomes a machine in the hand of God. He performs like a puppet. You know, you have a puppeteer, and he, whatever he does, that puppet will dance and jump and sing and say whatever. A saint is like that. He is controlled by Bhagavan. Bhagavan is the performer of the action now, not saint. So when we blame saint, we are blaming Bhagavan. That's why it's called Nama Prad. To judge a saint and look at the actions of a saint. When we do that, we are actually blaming God. This is the Are Bhagavan, I told you before, when we do sins again, Bhagavan, Guru will forgive. It's still very wrong, but Guru has the power to forgive. Vishnu sthane kitam papam guru sthane pramuchyate guru sthane kitam papam bhajalepo bhavishyati So Guru can forgive when we do wrong against God, but when we do wrong against the saint, we have wrong thinking. I didn't do anything, I didn't say anything. You taught? Yeah. Already done. We had a negative thought about the saint. Already you have done. Nama Prad. And Bhagwan says, I will never forgive. 
I have to be very careful when it comes to saying. So number one, see Krishna is like the actual performer of the action. And now whatever action God or a saint is doing, it's only, now keep this word, it's very important, I'm coming to the word, I'm coming here. We have to write it in golden letters. It is only for the benefit of the world. Lok kalyan ke liye. Jo bhi karte hai, jo bhi. Acha bura jo bhi. O sirf lok kalyan ke liye. He kar, he, he karte hai. Whatever God and the saint does, it might be the worst thing in the world, it might be the best thing. It is only for the benefit of the world, the upliftment of the world. We judge. Because for us, we think we know what is right and wrong. It can be the worst action. What is the worst thing someone can do? Kill someone. Mar dal. Mar do unko. When Bhagwan kills someone, what happens? We have read the scriptures, he's killed Kants, Ravan, all his personalities. What happened? They go to Bhagwan's abode. Wouldn't you like that Bhagwan after you have to do sadhana and rotate in 8.4 million forms of life, dog, cat, donkey, worm, going to hell, that Bhagwan comes and shoot you and kill you? What do you go? You go straight to Golok. No more sadhana, nothing. It would be the greatest thing that can happen. So whatever God and the saint does, always keep this in mind. In our mind, a minute look right. <laughs> we don't know what is right and wrong. I don't understand. That's good. That's good because we are on the Maya. I don't understand why Sri Krishna did this. I don't understand why Sri Maharaji did that. I don't understand. Oh, fine. <laughs> if you understood, you will be saint. The actions of God and the saints are beyond Maya. Divya hai. Janma karma chame divya. Bhagwan Krishna says in Gita, my birth as well as my action are divine. Saint birth is material, but his, once he's attained God realization, his karma, his action becomes divine also. So for us, it may look <laughs> material. This is why we don't benefit. As I've told you, we have seen God uncountable times. Whenever he has come in this world, as Sri Ram, Sri Krishna, etc. Uncountable saints. This is not the first time you, some of you may have met Kripalu Mahaprabhu and thought this is the first time I'm meeting a saint. No, uncountable times you have met saints. All the saints we have heard. What happened? Ja ki rahi bhavana jaisi Prabhu Murati Dekhi Tina Taisi. <laughs> How we are on the inside, we see exactly the same way. When we meet divine entities, whether it's Bhagawan or a saint, one who's attained God, however we are on the inside, we will see them the same way. In other words, if we have a tamasic nature, our mind is filled with dirty things, dirtiness. And we meet God or a saint, oh my God, he's a bad man, the worst man, the worst thing I ever saw. And you do propaganda, people do that. This is what happens when God and the saint comes in this world. All kind of propaganda. Because of what we are on the inside, it gets reflected like a mirror. If we're rajasic in nature, we love money, we love position, etc. We meet a saint, oh, I know, he likes money. 
money guru. A saint is doing something to help us, as I, I already explained, but we take our material mind and we judge. Because we love money. That's why we can't do seva, we don't like to do seva. We are too attached to the money. And the saint wants to break that attachment. Surrender. We hear this word surrender. Sri Krishna says, surrender to me. We have to surrender to Sri Krishna. Surrender to the saint. Surrender means giving that which you are most, which is most attached, which you are most attached to. And what are we most attached to? Two things in the world. Money and our body. Especially money. It's very hard to give. Ah, there are some people who can give easily. It means they did a lot of bhakti. Anyone who gives easily has done a lot of bhakti in the past life. There's some amount of purity in the heart. Otherwise, it's very difficult. Somebody's doing, ah, he's doing. Because he's going to get a, he has to get pay tax. So he's going to get a big tax deduction. His name is going to be blazed across the internet, across the newspaper. He'll get a great name, name, fame, etc. Not because he wants to give. Nishkam dena nahi, daan hai nahi. He's not been given nishkam, selfless. When thou give it alms, let not the left hand know what the right hand had given it, that thy arms may be in secret. The best charity is the one given in secret. Nobody should know. God knows, Guru knows, that's all. Nobody else has to know. So that pride should not come. So, because a saint is not doing anything. He has attained everything. The true guru, the true saint. And whatever he does now, only Sri Krishna is doing. This is why I said divine kirtan. Oh, so long I took to explain this. <laughs> but this is important. These books we have, with these kirtan, is we, this is all divine. Just as how you would worship Ramayana, Gita, Bhagavat, we should worship these books. There are some people who get very angry when they see we put the book in the ground like that, etc. A lot of people will take a, they walk with a bag, special something, and then put the book. Because this is divine. No ordinary worldly person has written this. This is divine words. Comparable to divine books. It's not a worldly person writing. So let's at least do one verse and we'll explain a little bit. Jayati Guru Vare, Jayati Guru Vare, Jayati Guru Vare Pyaare. Jayati Guru Vare, Jayati Guru Vare. Jayati Guru Var Pyaare Jayati Guru Var Pyaare Jayati Guru बतावे हरि मिलन की साधना भी प्यारे तू बतावे हरि मिलन की साधना भी प्यारे साधना भी प्यारे तू बतावे हरि मिलन की साधना की प्यारे तू बतावे हरि मिलन की साधना भी प्यारे साधना भी प्यारे 
तू बतावे हरि मिलन की साधना भी प्यारे सो गुरु इज गोइंग टू टीच यूस हाउ टू मीट श्री कृष्ण हाउ टू अटेन श्री कृष्ण we are told as i have told you before god has one condition for knowing him attaining him nirmal man jan so mohi paava mohi kapat chal chidna bhava god says only those who are pure in heart pure heart pure mind can know me see me attain me i cannot tolerate deception deceit fraud how to make this heart this mind pure all sadhana all spiritual exercise the ultimate aim whether it is puja whether it's havan whether it's chanting the name of bhagwan whether it's going on places of pilgrimage teerth whether it's meeting divine saints taking the bath in divine rivers whatever we do spiritually the ultimate aim of all spiritual exercise one thing only nirmal man pure heart pure mind and how do we do that <laughs> this is where guru comes to teach us he's going to tell us how to do that exercise what we call sadhana that exercise is going to make the heart the mind pure sadhana bhakti lot of things we hear on the wall some people say do puja some say do havan some say just chant the name of god do jap take a garland na mala do be take the bead normally this garland has beads 108 beads Ida is made of rudraksh, rudraksh, tulsi, crystals, many different types. But the main thing is has a hundred and eight. So when you go wrong one time with that mala, that garland, rosary, it's a hundred and eight time. That's called one mala, one turn. So a lot of people practice jap. It's called jap or jap. Even in Christianity, they do rosary. Some people say try to meditate on a light, so they put a candle or something, and they stare at the candle. and then they try to close their eyes and visualize that light some say just think about nothing sit down and think about nothing <laughs> impossible this mind it keeps working all the time if you don't give it work it's going to find work once this guy was very lazy and he had a lot of work land to plow and take care he's a farmer but he's very lazy so he went to a saint a baba and he said look baba ji please help me i want give me someone some do something that someone can do all the work for me so the baba said look i'll give you this thing in english you will say genie actually you bhoot hai 
I'm giving you this genie, a rakshas, but you have to be careful. You have to keep giving him work to do. If you don't stop giving him work, he's going to eat you. Aapko kha lenge. I have so much work, so much land. Impossible, he can't finish all the work. So he took the genie and he went. He was very happy, he's very lazy. He said to the genie, eh. So the genie said, give me work. The rakshas. Eh, plow all my land. So the genie went, all the land is plowed. <laughs> I want you to cut all that grass. Make hay. The genie went, all the hay. Tie it in a bundle, you know, different places. Hey. Okay, now plant the land. Plant all the land. And so he kept giving work on the genie in no time because it had... Mayavi powers. They had magical powers. Genie. Not divine. It's so rakshas, but powers. And now genie said to, Hey, give me more, more work. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> but all the work is finished. And the genie went after him and he's running. He ran to the, that Baba and fell at the feet. Baba, Baba, help me, help me. <laughs> I told you, you have to keep giving work. Ab kya kare? Okay. The Baba gave him a tail of a dog. He said, give this tail of this dog and tell him keep straightening. <laughs> Let him keep straightening this tail of this dog. And when he straightened the dog tail, come back. He straightened it, come back. So he had work to do <laughs> forever. So our mind is like that, that rakshas, that genie. We have to keep giving it work, or else it'll find its own work. If you don't give it, it'll find its own work. You cannot just sit down and think about nothing. People who say, just think about nothing. That's the greatest nonsense. Nobody can think about nothing. Impossible. The mind will go. Some people say, I've heard this one also, look at your thoughts. Sit down. Meditation is, look at your thoughts. Apna vichar ko, vicharo ko, dekalo. And my thoughts are the dirtiest. <laughs> I am looking at my wonderful thoughts. It goes in the worst place and does the worst thing. That is meditation. Hey, Bhagwan. It's very funny. Some of the things you hear and people, they do this. They pay lots of money to do this. I won't call the name. <laughs> you ask me in private, I'll tell you. People pay thousands and thousands of dollars to follow these things. All nonsense. Now all these things doesn't help. Whether it's looking at the light, whether it's looking at your thoughts or trying to think about nothing, or just doing job, none of this helps. What helps? Ah. So, I don't think I have enough time to tell you what we really have to do, what the Guru is going to teach us. So, we will hear this, we will continue this the next time. Bole Vrindavan Bihari Lal Ki Srimad Sadguru Sarkar Ki Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe